Last time on Cyberfile. We made it through one exit of the Mummy Maze, rewarding us with Camaro's Mask, defeated the skeletons guarding Icona Castle for the Sonata of Awakening, and defended Best Girl on her way back to Clock Town. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Randomizer. Let's play with Cyberfile. Alright, so today we have to go the opposite direction. Um, there's a treasure chest up top that can't really afford to uh, not get. So, that's the plan. So this is kind of cool. This raises up and then falls back down. And you can actually use the Deku Flower. In fact, you have to, to uh, raise it up again. And then this will open up our, uh, the door. And I'm pretty sure if you touch any of that fire, you die instantly, so. So, with the stuff that we got from the last episode, there's a lot of things we can do. There's also a couple things that I forgot to do that we can go do. Um, like, we can do the, uh... Forgot that we have to do the Goron treasure chest shop yet, so gotta do that. And actually, I think there's a um, an invisible platform there. I don't think I even needed to Deku scrub over here. So let's bust out that lens of truth. Yeah. Okay. All right, with that guy. Wow! I can't believe we did not die there. That's pretty cool. Okay, you need to go. And I think we're gonna switch to bow. Because the uh the hookshot can't go through the skull to the skull, but the bow can, so. Alright, let me see here. I think we can just make that jump. Famous last words, I know. Okay, cool. Oops, we got jinxed, so uh, the blue bubble hits you, you can't draw your sword until it wears off, or I'm pretty sure you can drink a blue potion, and that'll remove the jinxing. Also, concerning the Gorman Brothers, um, the horse race, someone was saying that they might only not be there because of... Oh look, it is just a piece of heart. Um, they might not actually be there just because of it being nighttime. So that could be the case. Please leave me alone. Uh, Deku scrub. Go down. Woo. Nice, and we got the kill. Yep, so just a piece of heart. Not really worth it, but I do want to eventually get them all despite my uh, complaining about getting so many. Okay, so... With that done, we also have the Sonata of Awakening, so we can do the, um... The Swamp Spider House. And also, before, I was thinking, uh, we can't actually do the Stone Tower Temple until we have... Hold on, I was thinking about it. The Giant's Mask. We need the giant's mask to be able to fight Twin Mold the boss there. So, um, we actually just straight up can't do the uh, Stone Tower Temple until we have the giant's mask. So that's one one thing that we do need before we can go there. Let's see. Is this close? Is this close after ten? It does, doesn't it? Hell. And hopefully it's open in the morning. So you're just a little late for the Goron treasure chest shop. Which you know I'm very much looking forward to. Okay, so Sonata of Awakening. That means that we can do... Uh, the Captain Keto race. So let's do that. Okay, here we are at Skull Kita. We just need to play the Song of Awakening. Up left, up left, A right, A. Damn it, I did it again.
So this will wake him up and then we can race him. Um, I mean you have to beat him, actually, not race him. But it's kind of like a race, because if he beats you to the end then you automatically lose. But you can actually cheese this pretty easy with the bow and arrow. There we go. Now, basically, as long as we don't die, we're fine. That, that jump attack had no business hitting. <laughs> Wait, it is my loss. Sheath your weapon. I commanded the Icona army of Icona can Kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skullkeeter. I think that's a cool name. Since being shamed by loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Ah, it's a shitty chest, too. Young swordsman who has awakened and deftly defeated me, I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men, who, even in death, remain loyal to me. Tell them the war has ended. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir! May I take leave, sir? I don't know why, this scene was always kind of heartwarming to me. Yes, sir! Now his soul can finally rest. And then normally you get the captain's hat in here, which allows you to command the stall children. Uh, but, you know, randomize you. Surely you're familiar with how that works by now. What do you know? Okay, so that's done. Other things we can do until the next day... ...is I think we're gonna hit the Swamp Spider House. That one you don't have to do on any specific day to get certain rewards, so I think that's our move. So I remembered that we need the um, we need magic beans to get everything, um, to get all the skull thingies, all the spiders in the spider house. So I came back here to grab magic beans, and then I remembered, oh yeah. We totally have the, um, Chimera's Mask, so that we can summon a Chimera. I mean, so that we can, uh, do this little side quest. So these girls here are trying to come up with a dance, so we'll teach them this otherworldly one. And Chimera is basically like a dead dancer who laments because he was never able to pass on anything he created in life, so we're sort of... Not only are we helping the sisters come up with a routine, which they plan to perform at the uh, clock festival, or whatever it's called. Um... Ooh, creeper. But we also, uh... B basically, allowing Chimera to live on. You are our master. <laughs> All right, useless item, because we already have... I already have the Gilded Sword. But whatever. Okay, um, and while I'm thinking about it, and we're over here, I think... I think Chimera will also be out, so we can heal his soul. So we're kind of doing that quest out of order, but uh, it's fine. Show sure enough, there he is. So here we have to play him. We have to heal his soul, because he's he's a ghosty. He's dead. Um, I don't remember what the song of healing is. Left, right, down, left, right, down. And hey, I didn't uh, press A, so it didn't play in the menu. 
Yeah, if you play it in the menu, it should just play in the game. Whatever. So then you'd get Camara's mask from him, and then you'd be able to teach the girls, but... It's fine. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Translation. I have taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze. Ha! Huh. That's funny, because we just did the Captain's Hat quest. Okay, so... That's kind of cool. I'm counting on you. Alright. So, uh, with that done, and we have the captain's mask, I think I might actually go do, uh, tonight's graveyard adventure thing that you need the, the captain's mask for. Or should I wait and do that? You know what, I think I'm gonna wait for the simple, uh, fact that we have to do it three days. You don't have to do them all in the same cycle, but it'll be easier for me to keep track if I do them on the same cycle. So I think instead we're gonna head to the Swamp Spider House. Okay, so here we are at the Swamp Spider House. Normally you'd use a Deku Stick, and we actually do have one, so... Why the hell not? Will you... Stop. There we go. No, we're still wearing Camaro's mask. That's funny. Okay, so same deal as the other spider houses. We're gonna need... ...to find all the spiders. We're gonna need a couple of bugs. So may as well grab those now. And let's break out our hookshot. You don't actually need the hookshot in this one. Um, but it does make things a lot easier for us. So let's see if I can find them all. So whenever you see these ones on the walls here, that's what you use the bugs for. They kind of remind me of baseball. They kind of look like a base. At least that's what I've always thought. There we go. One down. There's another one across the way, too. And actually, you need the Sonata of Awakening in order to get one of the... One of the uh, spider guys, so that's why we couldn't do it until now. I'm not sure how many more bugs we're going to need, but I know we need two things of magic beans, which means we need two things of spring water. So let's just grab that right now. There's one over here on this. One up here. There's one. Okay, this room's sounding pretty quiet. There might be one more up top on the upper level, but we have to go through here to get up there, so. Always check everything, unless you know exactly where everything is. And I don't, so. Uh, I think you need... Do you need to be a Goron to get through this? I think you can break it with a, uh... With a bomb. But here's a magic bean spot. I 
to see one up there behind us. Oops. I don't think you actually need this one. Uh, I think you only needed to use this magic bean if you didn't have the hookshot. Alright, this is a pain in the ass trying to get that guy. I'm just gonna do it the easy way. I think that's all of them in this room. Sounding pretty quiet. I don't hear any spiders up here. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, I see. There's a uh, there's a bug spot over there. So we're gonna have to go back and get some more bugs. Which are conveniently uh, just outside here, underneath some of these rocks. Okay, so back up. Cross the gap here. Deku Link's so cute. I think that's all of them in this room. So let's keep on trucking. There's one over there, I don't think I can reach him. There's definitely at least one. Let me say, there you go. In here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm gonna check them all. Just to be safe. And then there's for sure one in at least one of these. There we go. Okay, and then this is what you need the Sonata of Awakening for. Uh, I think it was up left, up left, A right, A? Ooh, I'm a boss. That one's kind of easier to remember, though, in my opinion. Get him out of here. Because you can't just hit him with your sword, you have to wake him up with the Sonata of Awakening. Get back here. Oh, there's the bees that I disturbed. I definitely hear one more. Did I not get a good hit? Yep, I didn't get a good hit in one of those. Okay, ten more to go. We're almost there. I don't give a damn how long this episode's gonna be. We're gonna get those last ten before I call it quits. Okay, first and foremost, let's uh, get that ladder. What kind of person would I be if I left you in the middle of this epic spider hunt? Let's 
see. Any more of you guys up here? I think there's one in these now. Okay, and here's our other magic bean spot. We actually just need this to get across. Okay, so there's some in the tree. I thought you could just roll into the tree? There we go. That was just dumb, is all. There's some walking around the grass. And I believe there might be one in at least one of these. Go away. Hmm. Where'd he go? There you go. So he thought he was gonna get away too. Here we go. The last one is somewhere in the grass. There we go. We're done here. All right, let's uh, see what our reward is, and then I'll I'll cut you guys off. Um, that's the uh, normally you'd get the mask of truth, but uh, let's see what we got going on here. Come on, wallet or bottle. Be happy with a wallet or a bottle at this point. Oh, I've been saved. I thought that I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me I could become rich, and he gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I never would have taken it. Here, take it. It's yours. Letter to Cafe. Okay, so that fucking sucks. Because what that means is that or when we want to do the cafe quest... We're going to have to go here, do the whole spider house, just to get the letter to cafe. That really sucks. Ugh, what an ordeal. Alright, well anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cyberfile content. And if you like this video, show me with that little thumbs up button. If you liked this video, you might like one of my other videos. You can click right on the boxes to jump to them. Cyberfile? Offline.